You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Jordan Peterson, you up the bat. Bye. Tell me I hate this fucking go. Tell me I hate this fucking It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022. Focus on you in 2022. We back with another Jordan Peterson reaction. Man, might get a little spicy on this one. This is Jordan Peterson discusses whether men and women can ever be equal. Now, you already know what's up over here, man. I need to know what y'all think. As we going through this, I'm gonna give y'all my opinion and stuff like that, but I definitely, Definitely want to read the comments and see what y'all talking about, man. Maybe I'll start highlighting some of the comments and some of the next Jordan Peterson videos and reactions. I'll just post some of the some of y'all comments on uh, just random parts of the video or something like that. So make sure y'all drop y'all comments below. <sighs> but let's go ahead and get into it. Also hit that subscribe button. Fire Squad, what's poppin'? Let's get it. What do you understand by equality, Sophie? What does it mean to you? Uh, freedom. Can you be more, is it a quality of opportunity? Is it equal pay across the board? Is it something more than that? I think equality is better for everyone. I, I yeah, think, okay. you know, I, and I'm really delighted, uh, you know, I love my job because it's an optimistic and a hopeful job, which is about creating more choices for people. I'm interested in people being able to have different choices and, um, and having equality of outcome. Aha, uh -huh. well, okay. so you're going to have choices and equality of outcome. What if people choose? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he don't even stop. They didn't even ask him a question yet. He says, oh, hold on, so you want people to have equal equality in choices and equality of outcome. And she just was like, because he already know, she, she know he about to go in his bag. He ain't even, he didn't even, she barely finished it. Let's go, man, let's go. He's choose different things, which is what they've been doing in Scandinavia. So the Scandinavian countries have moved more towards gender equality than any other countries. And the personality differences in Scandinavia have increased rather than decreased. And the proportion of women who are choosing STEM fields has decreased rather than increased. So as cultures become more gender neutral, the number of women who choose STEM fields decreases. What do you mean by increasing. STEM fields? So science, technology, technology okay, okay. engineering, and mathematics. So if you let men and women make their choices, what actually happens is that they specialize in different, in different situations they and you not, don't get equality of outcome. Could they not have been programmed to have those views from the moment we raise them and give boys no. Lego and construction? No, because, because what happens is that as countries get more egalitarian, which means there's less programming, programming of that sort, the differences get larger, not smaller. Wow. And the scientific data on that is clear. And most of it was generated by people who have a left-leaning bias, so you can't blame it on conservative scientists. It was a shock to everyone to find that out. So I think, I, think I mean, I think the difference between Jordan and me is that we, um, we look at uh, evidence and we lean towards different theories. So Jordan's theory is very much evolutionary, you know, that there are inherent differences in men and women. Mine is very much more social role theory, if you like, and I, that, that men and women are taking on different roles due to the expectations that society puts on mm. them. And it's, it's interesting that... Jo I think that's a huge difference, though. Uh, men and women having different things that they may be good at and social roles and stuff like that. I think that's two different things. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody going to deny that men are just physically stronger. So we might be able to do certain physical tasks better because we're stronger. But having like a social construct of what roles is and stuff like that, I think that's way different than just inherently like how your genetic makeup is or something like that. If that make any sense. But let's go. Jordan frequently uh, cites Scandinavian countries where they've made more, like there's nowhere in the world that women are equal, um, but Scandinavia has made the most progress towards um, uh, shared parenting, um, etc. Et yep. um, that said, um, it's not done yet. There's nowhere in the world where this is done yet. But so, it's having the opposite so, effect that the gender equality types predicted. But, but, opposite, not, not the same. So and it isn't a theory, it's actually data driven by tens of thousands of surveys and the best scientific literature on the topic. I'm no, it's not a theory, mm. and I didn't come about it because of my political perspective. I looked at the data. What it showed was that as countries become more egalitarian, the differences between men and women grow. They don't shrink. So what I'm interested in is, is data and analysis as well. And I'm particularly <laughs> interested in the ones presented, such as the ones by the University of Southern California, 
um, which discovered that um, change towards gender equality is actually being slowed by beliefs that are legitimizing social inequalities on the basis of sex. And I'm also interested, I mean, like George and I look at the data and I look at the studies, and I'm really also very much interested in studies uh, like the analysis that was done by um, the American Psychological Society, which looked at 45 analysis of se whether there's sex difference over 20 years. And its conclusion was that men and women are basically alike in terms of personality, in terms of cognitive ability, in terms of leadership. He wanted. He about to jump out his seat, bro. He about to jump Leadership. out his seat. But what it did find was that media depictions of men and women as fundamentally different perpetuate misconceptions, as does workplace bias. Oh, God, so it's my fault. So, <laughs> no, well, you know, you're leaving soon. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, men and, men, and, um, women, men and women actually are more the same than they are different. I agree. But the issue is, is that small differences at the population level can turn into very large differences at the extreme. So, for That's example... Rare. Men and women are broadly similar with regards to aggression, although men tilt a little bit more towards aggression. About So that if you picked a random person out of the population, male and female, and you guessed that the male was more aggressive, you'd be right 60% of the time. But if you take the one in a hundred most aggressive people, they're all male. And that's why the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Now, do you want to equalize that, just out of curiosity? I what about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the f and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities, mm -hmm. in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men, men work more longer hours. They work more dangerous jobs. They're more likely to move. They're more likely to work outside. They're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable. They make more money for those reasons. And that's all hidden under the idea that the reason that men and women make different amounts of money is because of their gender. It's a very simplistic analysis and trying to I address can, I just say, can, can you well, come back I mean, on that? I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to equalise is, is opportunity and choice. Fine, and let's equalise choice. You agree, you agree, you agree on that. that, but we won't get equal outcome think, that way. And I think that what happens then, it, nobody knows, because we, we've, we've never done it yet. We do know, we know what's happened in it Scandinavia, but it's not fully got there yet. No, but it's going in the opposite direction that everyone predicted, and strongly. I think there's, I think one of the things I loved about Jordan's book, which I read, speed read last night, so forgive me, Jordan, I've not read every line. <laughs> I know the but set. one of my favourite rules in Jordan's book is rule nine, which says, assume the person you are listening to might know something you don't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I think that in a country where men outnumber women um, uh, by two to one in parliament, in local government, um, where women's voices are not equally represented in media, um, where our education systems um, still are teaching boys and girls ideas of pink and blue. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is work with thousands of optimistic, hopeful people uh, for change. OK. You set, kept very quiet through this, Michael. I'm, I'm going to make you uh, put you under a bit of pressure. Do forgive me, I'm going to come to the calls in a moment. Your boss called the gender pay gap a burning injustice. Is it? Yes, it is, because uh, it's, there should be inequality of uh, opportunity. There needs to be the same rights. But you know something that surprised me? That outcome. neither of you, and, and the quality of outcome, sure, all of that, all of that. But the one thing both of you haven't mentioned is the biological difference, which unfortunately affects women's career prospects, whether we like babies it or not. Well, yeah. Babies. Mm. And that does cause a problem. You know, if I were to take a sabbatical from a corporation for a while, it's going to set me back slightly. And it is a problem that biologically it's women who have babies, not men. <laughs> sure, but that's why we are the... So the Women's Equality Party is the only party in the UK uh, that's got policies around shared parental she's leave. She's we're so the political. Only, we're, the only, <laughs> we're the only party that um, has got fully costed plans for universal free childcare. Um, what we're saying is that um, change, change we're trying outcomes. to change the outcomes. And also men are joining our party, men well, who are I, really I tired. Said, and I'm Mike, sure I'm going to have a word with Michael, because <laughs> I'm sure you want the application. Okay, okay, we forgive me. Joint, we take forgive, joint forgive me, I want to take one call, if you'll forgive me, because time is sure. really short, and I owe it to the viewers to hear their views on this. We've got Salim calling from Manchester. Salim, good morning. Hi, Matthew, how are you doing? I'm very well, I'm loving it. I'm uh, hogging, uh, pig in heaven today. Uh, <laughs> what do we think about equality? Will it ever happen, Salim? 
Um, I, I, I was going to say I thought it was going to happen, but after listening to Jordan, he's swayed my opinion. Oh. <laughs> why, did you yeah. th- why did you think it was going to happen? Because I think we're going to become more cognitive creatures and jobs are going to be more about mental skills. Technology. But then I've, I've been visited schools and I work in STEM. Techno- I, I, I'm a software developer and the number of women doing software development hasn't increased. Mm. I would have thought they would have increased more, but I went into secondary school to do GCSE yeah. uh, IT stuff, and there's very, very few girls doing IT, and I was thinking, IT is the future, mm. and why are, and they are, the schools are pushing for more girls yeah. to go into IT, mm. but there's only, t- I, 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 I visited I about say- eight schools. Can and I just, I thought, so, sorry, Celine, can I just nix, no, no, because I'm 30 seconds, Sophie's idea, actually representations in the media could be affecting Absolutely. such choices. Geeks, we see geeks, bespectacled blokes with bad hair on computers. That's what tech <laughs> means, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and, and you're absolutely right, because I think, actually, that one of the other things we want to do is to have a look at curriculums, to have more female role models, to, you know, to encourage girls, because so long as we still see STEM as a boys' area that we're trying to get girls into, it's not going to work. We need to... Do the work we're doing on care, get more boys thinking about, you know, nursing, yeah. teaching, more role models okay. for boys in schools. A- and that's the way you make it on all down. programs like EastEnders, The Archers, yeah. that's helped yeah. them. Complete. A lot. Right. So, I, listen, I have to draw things to a conclusion. Can I just say how wonderful three people, diverse political views, diverse views on uh, many other issues, that get along famously and have wonderful conversations. Thank you. That is Thank exactly you. the ambition that I have for this you. show. Uh, so, Jordan, good luck with the book. It is out now. It's called 12 Rules for Life. All right, that was Jordan Peterson discusses whether men and women can ever be equal. Now, that's the question. That is the question in the comments. Do you think men and women will ever be equal, whether it's in work, pay, uh, political, anything, you know what I'm saying? Because that's essentially what they was getting into and and they was breaking it down on different ways of how men may overpower certain industries because women not necessarily getting into it, you know, that type of stuff. So the question at the end of the day is, do you think we will ever see equality? Wherever you are, where I know you're probably watching this, wherever you are, wherever country you in, let me know what you think. Like I said, maybe I'll post, start posting some of the comments too and some of these upcoming reactions I do. Also, follow me on my Instagram, man. Send me some clips. If y'all got any Jordan Peterson videos or that y'all want me to check out or react to, make sure y'all follow me on my Instagram and shoot them to me in a DM so I can start, you know, bringing them up and we can start reacting to them. But also, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Laid Back, man. Self love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you when you know it. Hey.